Here is everything I keep inside my daughter's diaper bag, toddler edition. <laughs> Let's get into it. It is getting warmer in Dubai, but you never know when you're going to be in a cold or a chilly place. And the last thing you want is your toddler to be uncomfortable or cold if you like go to the movies or something. Um, or if you spend time outside and it's late. So, a blanket. That's going to go at the bottom of the bag. And you can kind of just lay like this. Next up is this portable folding changing pad. It's just really convenient especially if you're out and about or at someone's house and you need to change her you can keep the wipes and diapers in here and it just provides an extra barrier an extra surface so that you don't have to put your baby's body on anything stranger form so that goes next lies flat on top of the blanket next up i just add some wipes and some diapers you literally can never have enough of each so you always want to have these on deck they go in the bag we're still not even halfway this is a really large really convenient bag it has so many pockets and we'll try to go through all of them today but i have the blanket in here i've got the changing pad i've got the diapers and the wipes now we can just get into some toiletries in here i have more hand sanitizer and some baby oil inside a little plastic baggie i'm going to just put that in one of the side pockets here this is her little toiletry case it has like a detangling brush a Vaseline oil, hair bands, combs, toothbrush, a spoon, chapstick, hand wipes, just a bunch of things that she may or may not need, but I never want to be caught without anything outside of the house. Like, I need to be super prepared when it comes to having a toddler. I think it's just convenient. So I'm going to slide this in the side here. Fits comfortably right like that. I always want to have a quick change of clothes in case she spills something. She is a toddler, so it's good to just have an extra little outfit and sweater. Like I said, Dubai is getting into its summer seasons, but it was a little bit chilly a couple months back. So having a little sweater is always really beneficial. And we're still not even close to the top. Usually the top is for like snacks. I'm not going to pack them now, obviously, because I'm not going anywhere. But banana, bag of grapes, yogurt, applesauce, things like that go across the top. And of course, her pepper pig. In the side, we have some spray-on sanitizer. We also have just a regular large sanitizer here that just stays in the side for easy access. This is where I keep her bottles. It also has a section that keeps warm things warm and cold things cold. You always want to have some kind of stirring equipment. She's on solid foods, but she still takes bottles occasionally. And you have to stir your bottles. If you shake your bottles, you give your baby gas. That's why they burp so much. People who be shaking their bottles to mix the farm. Just stir it, baby. Just carry something with you or just grab a spoon and stir. Don't shake. This is where the bottles would go or water. I usually keep this cup on hand as well. In case she's out, we just need to have something to pour into this. And last but not least, toys and distractions. Sometimes we just throw this in the car, but it also fits inside her diaper bag. So it's just like knickknacks. I'm telling you, if you are a toddler mom and you don't keep bubbles handy, you are doing yourself a disservice because these are the number one distraction tool for me. And 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Always carry some bubbles or something on you. That was everything I keep inside my daughter's diaper bag toddler edition hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye